what is going on youtube now i'm a little sick up under the weather but i gotta cover this video the street fighter 6 showcase hosted by lil wayne i kind of sound like lil wayne a little bit but, <laughs> but anyway let's get on with it shout out to metal face doom he texted me on youtube talking about i know you're gonna cover it i'm like of course i'm gonna cover it man what are you crazy let's go now when they first announced this, I was hype on it. And one of my predictions actually came true. Let's go. Nice shawl. A developing nation of little significance. Tucked away in a remote corner of Asia. That is JP. It's rather fascinating. Looking down on everything, I guess. Showing off some of the moves from the characters. What was that? A robot. Oh, uh, it's cool how you can walk in the world like that. You can take pictures with the, uh, the some of the characters from the story. <laughs> Mag hugger looking character. What? I seen the Sonic Boom, my man got Jamie's moves. Mano and Oh that's uh Kimberly. Was that Mano and uh Zangus? Hugly and Ken? Oh man, that's a. Uh... Dawson had to do some stretch work on all the clothing. Blanca and Chung Lee. That's like some uh, Street Fighter uh, Rainbow Edition. Street Fighter 2 Rainbow Edition. That's tight. Man, they put a lot of work into the single player mode. The voices too. What's up, everyone? It's your Weezy. boy Weezy. Welcome to the Street Fighter 6 Showcase. And how about that new trailer? Listen, I've been playing Street Fighter since I was a kid, but this new game is on another level. Yeah, we, we all have. We're new ways to fight, crazy new game modes, and the most content we've ever seen in Street Fighter. For real. So let's get into the game and get the showcase started with the latest from Street Fighter 6's director, Takayuki Nakayama. Here's what I love to see. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name is Takayuki Nakayama, director of Street Fighter 6. As you saw in the beginning of our latest trailer, Street Fighter 6 features significant single player content in the form of World Tour. That's true. Today, I'd like to tell you more about World Tour mode. That boy looked like he actually did there. Game mode. The footage is from the demographic settings. Just letting us know that some things are. Just for this uh, showcase. That looks just like a uh, jungle stage in Street Fighter Five. Metro City, Luke. Metro City. You'll be able to create an avatar with a high degree of customization. And assume the role of the protagonist this is cool Buckler security services training course buckler <laughs> there you'll meet your coach luke go through basic training and set yeah. off on your adventure I gotta say you're photogenic and i help him handle this bosh I wonder if he's going to be like a playable character later. It's 
learning this basic training course that you'll meet Bosch, your rival and classmate. And one of the great things about World Tour is that you'll interact with a slew of unique characters. Bosh, come on, man. So now we're ready to hit the streets. People from various walks of life inhabit the world of Street what? Fighter, but they all love a good fight. With a single press of a button, you can seamlessly enter a battle with them. Bystanders will also come to see what's going on. Street hey, that boy got a raw you stands, Kimberly moves. All right, so you're gonna be able to mix up a lot of stuff. I like how you just go right in the street and start uh, battling right there. Three attack strengths and allows you to perform special moves with a single button press. That's cool. Look with three special moves. You can perform special moves by pressing a direction and the special move button. Which will let you enjoy so a lot of this is uh side of fighting games. Uh There's showing off the modern controls, for which is all right for so um, as as easier inputs. The more you battle, the stronger your avatar becomes. This is why I really like the leveling up. Through battle to level up your stats That's really cool. Vitality. Which is a given, uh, but this is, it's cool to see it done this way in here in this game. To earn more rewards and items. And that mm -hmm. to combat. I wonder how many different moves can you have? You can purchase wearable gear at clothing shops. That gear affects your avatar's appearance and their stats and characteristics as well. Okay. The product lineup changes from time to time, so check the stores periodically to see what's for sale. One of my friends actually has that, uh, There's that hat. also a variety of eateries to visit in the game. Eateries. Food purchased from these places can restore your vitality, give your stats a temporary boost, and other perks. Mm. You can also use these items to give yourself a helping hand during battle. So you can refill your health up and stuff. Feeling more and more like an RPG, that is for sure. This way. The Jamie in the coat. Here. Congrats. From now on, you can tell people you are a student of the great Jamie show. Once you knock that back and make it official, anyway. Jamie show. Just relax. It's not booze. Trust me and take a swig. It's a family made herbal drink that really boosts your energy. So they, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Had to clear that up for the ratings for sure. City, Can't have alcohol in a video game, right? Missions you can take on. But we just considered like a herbal this monster energy drink. To Metro City's Chinatown to meet a legendary fighter. Yeah, to becoming the student of a legendary fighter grants you access to their master action. So I think it's going to be like different worlds that have different parts in it. Like some, some cities, you know, might have like a Chinatown or, you know, some that's primarily of another uh, culture. I think that's what we're going to get here. In different ways, but they all consume the drive gauge. So you'll have to be careful how often you use them. When traversing the city, there are enemies that will suddenly attack you. Now that's when you can use the World Tour exclusive move, Drive Stall, to slow the flow of time. Drive Stall. This will slow down the movements of surrounding yeah, enemies. Yeah, they got a lot of RPG uh, actions, actions in here. Powerful. You can also use this to uh, okay. avoid any attacks. Or hey, look how smooth that is. The, advantage when the, battle begins. He, the battle starts right there where you were walking battle, at. Opponents will start to glow white. This is when you have an opening to strike during an enemy's mm. weakest point. Landing a normal attack here will trigger what we call pressure time, and you'll do more damage than wow. usual. So this is cool. You're not only you are learning how to play. Uh, they're using different things that you do normally in a fighting game, like catching an opponent where they didn't um, uh, whiffed or missed an action, and like giving you points for it. 
I mean, uh, giving you game specific bonuses for it. So it's kind of teaching teaching you how to play a fighting game at the same time. Look at Chong Lee, boy. Lee Finn. Okay. I wonder if she's gonna be like a major part of the story. Lee Fen, I'm disappointed in you. That good chun. When you decide to become a student of a legendary fighter, you can also undertake special missions. Complete those missions to strengthen the bond between you and the Look at her laptop. Really selling the world of Street Fighter, man. Them. And for us who like have Street Fighter merch, because this is how she's dressed. The stuff that she got is exactly what we do with the stickers and everything. <laughs> Boy, got on a Ryu uh, gloves. To strengthen your bond with them and also see how they react to your gift. That's pretty cool. So this is some true uh, style, JRPG stuff. Basic attacks. Gotta see what Ryu feels. How Ryu feels about some of his gifts. Okay, so you Using get the move. So I figured this part here. Accumulate experience points, which raises your style level. Level up enough, and you can visit your master to learn new attacks and expand your move set. Hmm. In addition to experience points, you can also earn wow. skill points through battles. These can be used by opening up your device and selecting Level up, get new moves, skill trees. Here you can items are used during battle. That can Wait a minute. Punch or kick strength, maximize their vitality, and more. The drive stall move we just touched upon is also unlocked via skill points. Hmm. As you can see, in world tour mode, you can build a character that's unique to you by leveling up your style and skills. Oh, I thought that was Gambit. Your basic and special attacks. That's tight. That's tight. It's so cool that the character, the, the custom character creation is so deep this time. Normally it looks all cheesy. Then you can get the character's moves and stuff too. Uh oh. What is this place? Got some monster hunter action going. Got to fight the lion. Oh, <laughs> look how big she is, man. And during your adventure, you'll obtain flight tickets, which you can use to travel from Metro City to other locations via flight the world map. tickets. If you want to learn all of the styles and moves, you'll have to dedicate some time to find the legendary fighters scattered around the world. Huh. And you'll find many of your favorite characters in World Tour. This is cool. Be some unexpected appearances For Final too. Fight, a couple of YouTubers did a video on this. I did it too. Man, gear game. There are characters steeped in mystery and organizations you may recognize. All of which come together to immerse you in the Street Fighter universe. I remember him. Shall. Out. 
nice get to see some of the grain, the, the, the grain, the games, in world uh, graphics, and complete with its own stores that performance work too. You find in Metro City. In contrast to Metro City's urban landscape, this city has a fairly complex topography. And who you'll meet in this new city will also differ. What? That's all we, we got have some to fruit ninja action going mode this time. We hope that you enjoy not only the battle portion, but the story and creating your own character as well. Found them. Yeah. Why do y'all got on boxes? I mean, I know why because of the faces and stuff, but it's a cool, cool addition to the fighting uh, the multiple enemies that you fight. But most of the time in those games, you just end up seeing the same faces over and over and over and over, and over again. In Final Fight, you fight like 50 different poison looking picks. Okay, we got a Chris Tucker. Either way, we're more than happy to have you. Next, we'd like to talk about one of the other main modes in Street Fighter 6, the Battle Hub. All right. The Battle Hub. Players from around the world can get together and have Look fun Kami, playing boy. games and doing other activities. Access the cabinets on the floor to play Battle Hub and extreme battle matches and games at the game center. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, she kept the commando right there. That's cool. Chief of Alpha 2. I yeah, remember she put Alpha 2 on uh, Super Nintendo. That was crazy. I was shocked when I first saw that. Here's where you fight against other people. That's tight, man. Show the world your own personal fighter in Avatar Battles. Talk about some custom we also combos. Have a new Fighters Club feature added to Capcom Fighters Network. This will help players get together with friends or like minded players. Join an already existing club or create one of your own from scratch. All right. Oh, the I mean, people. set up the basics of the club, you can also create a customized emblem. Huh. Not only that, but you can design your very own club uniforms that all members can wear. If you have a good idea for a club, let the world know about it. That's tight. That's We're tight. Looking forward to seeing players don their clothes. Might as well have a way you can import some of your own custom art. Together. If you're all about that street fighter life, the battle hub is the place to be. This is your fave Eternity signing off. See ya. Peace out, Chris Tucker. Nine, eight, seven, I saw some of this. Six, Talking about the battle nine, damage, which I'm happy about. Because you can turn it on and off. Still standing. But it's reminiscent of Street Fighter 2, though. Next up, let's talk about some of the cool stuff we have in fighting. His hair rally. moving. For the classic outfits. Guile and Zangief, boy. In the video you see here, we've added a character damage toggle. During battle, fighters' faces, bodies, and clothing will get damaged or dirtied up. This will give fights a more realistic feel. This can also be turned yeah. on and off at any time. Cool to see the, the uh, classic uh, outfits. You look younger. Additionally, sound accessibility options have been improved for Street Fighter. Now, when I played in the uh, the beta, I did turn up the uh, hit effects, the distance between not the uh, the special the special sounds but the each effect you can attacks. turn up and turn down i did have the uh the light medium heavy turned up it's actually pretty cool whether an attack hits as a cross-up or not hmm and also to indicate your remaining gauge. and monitoring controls is there a block button we hope that these options will let you better grasp the situation of your fight.
I don't know. I'm gonna try some of these accessibility options. Uh, I don't know. It might be a new thing to me. I don't, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I don't know. I'm not gonna knock it. When you first start the game, we've added a tutorial that explains the basics of battle and the combat system. Is this in the demo? Which I am going to play here right after this. In addition to classic and modern control types, we've added an offline only control type where Is there an AI a block? assistant oh, system will to see it. actions and combos depending on the distance from an opponent or the context of the fight. I wonder how much the character character select screen is gonna change. Dynamic. And it's recommended I think Street Fighter 5 went through like two iterations, didn't it? Casual matches against friends and family? Or when you're experimenting with a character for the first time? Don't expect me to be a pushover. Man, can looks really cool. Player mode, where you'll square off against the computer. <laughs> Yoon. Yang. Been okay, bringing the uh, arcade art back. Don't now, worry. this is cool. I'm, uh, just fine I'm gonna say, mind. every time I was I was playing Jamie arcade Show. mode in Street Fighter Five, it would always reset all my data when Those it updated. So I hope that issue is gone. But uh, it's cool to have the artwork. It's a faster way for the developers to get endings into the arcade mode because it is a lot to do like CG and. Uh, my only work a mocap work for everything also features online rankings for your score so get out there and challenge the world got the car boat oh yeah These illustrations can be hold up who is the character to unlock them all <laughs> that's cool got my boy looking goofy if you're not sure which character is the right one for you, check out the character guides. Huh. Which will teach you about each character's unique traits and how to use their attacks. Each special move comes with a basic tutorial on how to use them. And you can experiment with them yourself by pressing the try button. Oh, uh, there's some new, there's some new, new characters and stuff I definitely want to try. Try not to stick to my main characters all the time. And get to gear. I'm switching over to bed, man. Man, once you've gotten the basics of a character down, head on over to the combo trial section. Are they hard? Basic, intermediate, and advanced combos. Okay. You can also slow down the game speed by 50% to practice your timing. Oh wow. This is a great way for you to expand your horizons and abilities. Okay. When you have a chance to finish this, you gotta take it. Player one brings That's it crazy. Home. They're really making it easy mode, for you to learn the game battles. this time. A lot of new Play options that's gonna set the stage for a lot of the next stage of fighting games to uh compete in teams, reiterate on elimination or double style. Battles. They need the combo maker like a uh, good to gear got. Make sure to turn on your favorite commentator and get ready for some fun with your team. Now the commentary, that's the only thing I had on for a little bit during the uh, beta, but that eh, wasn't necessary to me. But I'm pretty sure they added some more to it though too. Extreme battle. extreme battle this differs from a normal battle because there are special rules or gimmicks on the stage for example you can have a battle cool. where the winner is I the hope first they have a mode where both uh, players can you can tear up the truck or the, the car stage. fastest this is pretty cool this is a good or addition a rule, actually I played this quite a bit the objectives displayed on your side of the screen first well random drones show up and have different effects when they're destroyed this will let you have fun with other players in a party-like setting, so give them a try. Yeah. Extreme Battle can be played offline or in the Battle Hub, and also in custom rooms, which we'll talk about next. If 
you want to play with a group of players online, then creating a custom room is the way to go. The four virtual cabinets in the room can be set to one-on-one, -on -one, extreme battle, or training mode. Is there going to be a custom rooms two on now two? allow for up to 16 players at a time. We've made great strides to improve the experience compared to previous titles. Here comes a new challenger. I like Mano's uh Showtime. theme song. Reminds me of Ridge Racer. This is the only stage I think this could use a little bit more, but again, I haven't seen it firsthand. Combos. Or try out new characters. Definitely gonna be uh, spending a lot of time in the lab. Here comes a new the challenger. always popular ranked match lets players worldwide compete against each other. My yeah. Uh, Fight it out with players at your skill. This is the end game. Points. Cool. For Street Fighter 6, in order to burden the player with less stress than before, we've added a new one time rank down protection feature where you won't lose league points in certain leagues. In addition, mm. we have character specific and random character ranked matches and ranked match phases, which will determine your rank for a period of time. Mm. Casual match also returns in Street Fighter 6, where you can play online without any change to your league points. So, what do you think? The team working on Street Fighter 6 has been challenging themselves to create a game that's going to become a long loved Street Fighter title. Yeah, this that is all it. Players can enjoy. Hang on, lie, this is it. It's only a little bit longer, but we can't wait for everyone to enjoy World Tour, Fighting Ground, and Battle Hub. We hope you look forward to playing Street Fighter 6. Yep. That was cool. That's what I'm talking about. Those new modes look crazy. All right, now let's go to Shuhei Masamoto. Street Fighter 6 is producing. Hey, everyone. I'm Shuhei Matsumoto, producer on Street Fighter 6. I've said this before, but this dude is heavily into like hip-hop. Like, check out his Instagram. Street Fighter 6 once the game releases on June 2nd. A big part of Street Fighter's charm is the cast of characters from around the world that appear in each game. We believe that Street Fighter is where players can take control of unique characters with their own awesome fighting styles. For the players, and for us as well, the appeal right, of the can. characters themselves is the most important Man, this, element. Man, that setup was cool. With Street Fighter 6, we're continuing development to deliver new characters to you every year. Today, I'd like to introduce the four fighters for year one. Rashid. Poison. Lee Fang. That was his name, wasn't it? Nakuma, this is interesting. I saw this before. Boy has white hair. Year one will see the introduction of new characters, Rashid, Aki, Ed, and Akuma. Okay. Rashid joins the fight in summer 2023. Aki okay. in autumn 2023. Ed in the winter after the new year. And Akuma in spring what? 2024. <laughs> Winter These after new the new year, year. One characters will appear in world tour as well. So you can enjoy so mid, what is, like the start of next year. Man, Akuma Batman, all the way next year, though. Various events and a store to obtain special collaboration items. We can't wait to show you what we have planned. Yes, I can't wait to. I actually can't wait to dive into Street that uh, battle. Hub. Will be the main game. To commemorate the release of the new game, the Capcom Cup 2023 champion will receive a special $1 million prize package. And the total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will be over $2 million. $1 million, man. Classic control types will be allowed in the tournament. 
So we hope you're all Modern excited classic. for a new okay. season of Capcom Pro Tour. Street Hitbox Fighter 6 too. is available for pre-order now. And in addition to the regular version, we're also offering other editions that include the year one characters and content. Nah, for me, I got the Mad Gear box collection, so I You'll got all that. You'll also receive special pre-order bonuses, so please check them out. Okay, hope you're ready to begin. Yeah, but... Alright, you ready? This will be a good fight. You wanted something more practical, right? And something more practical. Well, practicality comes in many forms, but if you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. The demo, man. Come on now. Available now. Finally, we've created a special demo version of the game. So players can enjoy the first bit of World Tour and some modes and fighting ground. The demo will allow you to create an avatar that can also be used in the main version of the game on the same platform. Okay. So, we hope you put in a lot of time with the avatar creation feature and have fun. That's cool to give this as a demo and to carry, you carry on your progress. I was hoping they were going to do that. Demo. Will be available after this show. Well, how does game run on PlayStation 4? Hope you enjoy them. We're creating Street Fighter 6 to be the game that revolutionizes the fighting game genre. It will. To this aim, our development team has taken the lead and challenged themselves to realize something amazing. We're now at the point where their hard work has materialized into something we believe everyone will enjoy. And it's coming to you on June 2nd. Yeah. That's right, you heard it. The Street Fighter 6 demo is dropping right now. So create your avatar, explore world tour mode, and start fighting. Thanks for tuning in. Street Fighter 6 out June 2nd. Maybe you get to throw hands with your boy Weezy. Peace. Huh. <laughs> All right, so we got a, a huge info dump. A lot of stuff, uh, a lot of new things, a lot more. Got to see the game more. We got a good demo that's going to tie us over until the game comes out, which is really cool. All of our worries and concerns pretty much handled. Um, this game is going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. So is that it? That is it. So pretty much no more i ain't got no more to say man this is really cool to see uh the game comes out june 2nd go ahead and pre-order it if you haven't there is a bonus collection that they didn't show called the mag gear box uh if you well then watch this and you hype on it go ahead and put that pre-order in now because i'm pretty sure it's going to be gone and you know how it is nowadays man they put this stuff up on ebay for like six hundred dollars now what the mad box comes with there's a couple of different books you get all the dlc but you get two collector's items you get luke and kimberly as uh figures i don't know the quality of them but uh you do get a lot of stuff with it and on top of the box that comes with it of course but uh yeah man i ain't got nothing to say man it's um i really think that this street fighter is going to revolutionize fighting games just like they said it's going to really you know be that that game that you always remembered you know um as far as street fighter itself i don't think there's going to be another better one <laughs> i don't think they can top this i really don't if they do we won't see it for another 20 years at least but yeah man this one's going to be really fun really cool man can't wait to get in it i'm gonna put my gamer tag down in the uh the description of this um anybody who's watching you can hit me up on playstation i'm gonna have it on playstation and on steam uh because i'm definitely going to be digging deep into this one when it come out as of right now we got that demo so <laughs> peace